and sunny morning to everyone my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine so I got a video request uh, from one of my viewers named Tom he requested for me to do a video and explain how I provide protection different levels of protection from the Sun for my plants so Tom also lives in Nevada although not in Las, not from Las Vegas so he wanted to know how I provide protection to my plants so as you all know here in the desert our Sun is very very intense although cacti are known to love sunny and dry environment my environment here especially in the summer is too much too hot for most of them that I do have to provide them some level of protection otherwise they will burn they might not die they may survive but then they'll suffer from serious burns so what I do is I have number one of course shade cloths set up all around my yard my backyard so I have three different kinds of shade cloths this one this light brown here that is 70% shade and then I have a black one this is 50% shade and that third one right there the triangular one that is actually 90% shade cloth although that is not for the plants that's for us the humans because there's no plants underneath it okay so just to give you an idea before the Sun moves how the shade is looks like so this is 70% shade this is obviously full Sun and that is 50% shade okay so that is the difference and moving towards there that is 90% over there 90% and this is 50% so the Sun rises on that area and moves this way okay so what plants do I have under each specific type of shade cloth so under the 70% this is the area that's under 70% shade cloth so I put a higher percentage of shade here because this section here gets Sun starting from early noon around 11 12 until the afternoon so that is the hottest part of the day so I have um, the 70% shade cloth on top of these guys right here and then in this area actually since I'm closer to the tree I have all my epiphytes hanging here under the tree hopefully the Sun uh, the tree would provide it enough shade so it does get Sun although the dappled effect from the leaves but this section or this guys haven't gone through our summer yet so all of these are pretty new so they haven't experienced the full heat of our summer yet so I do not know if they will survive it here under the shade because even though they're under the shade it is still very very hot and our air is very dry so I will watch them maybe in the summertime I might need to move these guys indoors hopefully not but if worse comes to worse I might have to move them all indoors and then under this 50% shade cloth is this area right here so all these are very hardy because most of them are trichocereus and uh, apontias on this section so they're all very hardy under the Sun I only have 50% shade covering this area because this area gets morning Sun morning until about noon so by noon time they're under the shade so they they can take just 50% shade cloth and then in this area I do not have any shade cloth on top of this but they do benefit from our pergola so the slot the slots of wood from that pergola provides some kind of like alternate shade sun shade sun you know as the sun moves uh, part of it will be under the shade and then part of it will be under the sun okay so that's why they do not have any shade cloth in that area and then uh, that table back there gets 
early morning sun before noon there is no more sun on that area so they're perfectly fine there without any shade cloth oh and if i do have flowering cacti i usually put them under the shade because um if i leave them out under the sun they wilt very fast some of them just last a day instead of lasting two days because of the very hot weather they will wilt very fast and some of them will only last for a day or even less than a day so i try to put them in the shade whenever i have any uh, cacti that are flowering so these are what i have right now This section right here is where I keep all my young seedlings and also those that I am still trying to propagate. So this gets very early morning sun in this direction. So it only gets sun for about an hour very early in the morning. So when it's still very cool. So they are perfectly fine in this area. And then to give you an idea of our temperature here right now so when i looked at the weather app it says it is about it is two o'clock right now 2 p.m and the weather app says our temperature today is 100 degrees fahrenheit but uh looking at my thermostat i have two thermostat um sensors here in the backyard so one of them is under the shade and it says 102 degrees Fahrenheit in my backyard and then the other thermostat it's right there the other sensor I mean is right there under the Sun just so I have an idea how hot it gets so the one that is under the Sun is registering 113 degrees Fahrenheit humidity uh, this thermostat can only record humidity 10% and above so whenever it's less than 10% it just says LL percentage or very low humidity is very low and according to the weather app our humidity right now here in Las Vegas is 9% this is the section where I keep my very small collection of fleshy or leafy succulents so like all my jades and some uh, succulents I have in this section so this section gets very early morning Sun in this side right here for about an hour and that's it and then the rest of the day it is protected by a 90% shade cloth it is still very very bright even though there's 90% shade cloth as you can see there is still Sun shining through the 10% Sun that it gets is enough for this guys right here here is my desert garden so it is under 50 percent shade cloth now this area of my garden receives the uh, longest number of hours under the sun so it spends eight hours at least every day under full sun so these are the hardiest of all my plants that's why i planted them in this area although i do protect that that is a totem pole cactus i will insert a picture of it in here so you know what i'm talking about but that is a totally spineless cactus so although it will survive it may suf suffer from burn marks which will have permanent uh, marks on the cactus and i did not want that to happen so every time our temperature would reach 100 and to 103 degrees and above I would wrap it with an extra shade cloth around it okay and then oh I forgot this one too this is a Ferdinandi Regis Agave I also throw a shade cloth on top of that whenever it gets 
very very hot just so it doesn't have those permanent burn marks on it but as for the rest apontias trichocereus echinocereus uh, all of them they are very very tough so i am not worried about them and last but not the least this is the area where i keep my haworthias so as you all know haworthias does not like the sun so this area doesn't get any sun at all or any direct sun at all it is just bright shade so in the desert even if you're under the shade it is very very bright so they seem to like it here i still had to cover that part to just to make sure it doesn't get hit with the sun so this is where all my haworthias and other plants that doesn't like the sun too much this is where i keep them so right now it is towards the end of spring and almost the beginning of summer i am still watering them twice a week so i give them two deep waterings every week as of now and when i water i only water in late very late in the afternoon or even in the evening when the temperature cools down that gives them enough time during the night you know to soak up the water and fill up their bodies before they start another very very hot day the following day okay so that's it guys for my video i hope you like it if you do please give me a thumbs up if you like cactus and other succulents do hit the subscribe button so until my next video bye and cheers Thank you.